The following trailer is rated H for honest. From Sonic Team, the developer who proved they learned absolutely nothing from Mania, comes the same mediocre 3D platformer for infants they've been making since the 90s, Sonic Forces. In a year when Sega put out their best Sonic games since the Genesis, dive back into the garbage pile we've all become accustomed to. As you Sonic force yourself to play through one underwhelming platformer level after the next, full of flashy set pieces that shift perspective at a moment's notice, that try to distract you from noticing that you're not actually doing anything, because you can beat most of the levels by holding a direction and sometimes pressing jump. Cruise to the end of every level where you actually have to play a video game, taking on over-the-top bosses that share a fatal weakness to hedgehog jumps, while also taking on the terrible floaty controls in a gaming experience that's so simplistic, it's about two steps away from just watching a Let's Play. But look on the bright side, at least it's only four hours long. Hold on, I'm being told that's also a bad thing. Thrill as Sega finally concedes to super fans of the franchise and officially lets them do the thing they've been doing on DeviantArt for the last decade, creating your own self-insert Sonic character. Then slap together clothing options to create ridiculous Sega characters the protagonist from Persona, or even a bargain bin Sonic with serial killer eyes. In a game of dress-up that's actually pretty fun, until you remember that the actual game you have to play is still Sonic Forces. Look at my sick hat, though! You know I'm a gamer because that's what it says on my hat. Save the world from the evil robot army of Robotnik once again, in one of the darkest timelines in the entire Sonic franchise. As Dr. Eggman takes over the world with extreme prejudice, torture Sonic before trying to kill him, and murdering anything that gets in his way in a story that would be super generic. Except now every cutscene has your ridiculous ninja rave bear in it. Now that is what I call great storytelling. So get out your chili dogs and prepare to go fast in a tepid 3D experience that hyper-focuses on one aspect of the game so much they forgot to fix the rest, but that rabid Sonic fans will probably love anyway because it finally acknowledges their weird desire to live in a world of anthropomorphic animal teens. I bet in the next game they'll finally just let you f*** Sonic. Oh, um, I'm being told someone already did that? Should've known. Starring Gotta Make Trash Spinning in His Grave Fat Dr. Wily Edgelord Edgemaster Nuck If You Buck Miles Per Hour It's like Miles Per Hour, get it? And Our Collective Nightmares the Fast and the Furious 2, Tokyo Drift. You ever tried image searching your name with the words The Hedgehog after it? Turn Save Search on first. You'll thank me later. Comment below on what you want me to read in my epic voice. I have once become a human again. Chickens are terminators in disguise. Genesis does what Nintendo don't. Once opinion a land in a time far, far away. I was trying to make you a great warrior. You succeeded. 